A couple of weeks ago I received this rather unappealing white box which contained the rose apple pie. And I know what you're thinking, another Raspberry Pi like computer, aren't there enough already? So in this video let's find out whether this board sticks out and offers some innovations or whether it is a lazy try to jump on the Raspberry Pi hype train. Let's get started. While I'm preparing my professional test setup, let's firstly have a look at the specs of the board. The system on a chip with attached heatsink to keep the temperatures a bit under control is an A9R4 quad-core ARM A9 chip with an integrated SGX544 GPU. Combine that with 2GB of DDR3 memory and a USB 3.0 port and you should get a performance boost in comparison to other fruity boards with only an ARM7 SoC and 1GB of RAM. To test this further, I installed the Debian OS onto an SD card and booted up the system. The first thing that I noticed is that there is no integrated Wi-Fi, which is a step back from other Asian fruit boards. Even my Wi-Fi dongle that I use for my Raspberry Pi did not work with the software offer, so I was forced to use the 10100 megabit per second Ethernet port. After updating the OS and installing Sysbench, I did the usual CPU benchmark which utilizes different quantities of CPU cores with a defined load. The times were added to my previous results from the other boards which then showcases that the Rose Apple Pi is indeed the fastest one. The memory write and read benchmark though sped out times which were pretty similar to the orange and banana board. As I was playing around with the Debian software, I also noticed that there are no big bugs or problems which would interfere with a pleasant experience. The only thing that I absolutely hated was the fact that the developer claimed that they ported the wiring pi library, which can easily control the GPIOs of your favorite fruit board. But surprise, it may recognize the commands, but it does not alternate the state of the GPIO pins. Hence, it doesn't work yet. After this disappointment, I wanted to give the Android 5.1 a try and I was actually surprised that the software worked flawlessly right out of the box. Well, except for my Wi-Fi dongle. The Play Store was also available, which I used to download the N22 benchmark app. After completing the test, the Rose Apple Pi received roughly around 10,000 points more than the Orange Pi 2 which is a remarkable difference between those two. Especially when it comes to 2D and 3D graphics, the Rose Apple Pi shines with its performance. So it's the truth that the Rose Apple is the most powerful fruit board so far, which features a very similar board layout than the Raspberry and gives up on accessories like an infrared sensor or an onboard microphone. But then again, the software offer is minimal and the forum is in the beginning phase which even the team behind the board acknowledge. And for a price of around converted 54 US dollars, this board is pretty expensive in comparison and not that easy to get. A good alternative would be the Limega guitar board. Same system on a chip, same RAM, same everything and even a bit cheaper to get with a more familiar manufacturer. In the end, I can say that the Rose Apple Pi is not as bad as I thought, it is decent and if you desperately need the word Apple in every one of your products, then go for it. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. Stay creative and I will see you next time.